Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. So guys, um, today, different type of uh, video we're bringing you. Uh, Jeffrey's Bay is running their club championship and my brother is playing in it. As you can see, I'm actually on the golf course at the moment, busy following him around. Uh, got the other camera in hand, uh, just basically filming him, um, yeah, seeing what he does. So yeah, guys, stay tuned. Um, hopefully he, hopefully the nerves don't get the better of him. Um, this is his first contest uh, that he's playing in. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see uh, kind of first tournament golf, you know, uh, you know, we've We're fairly new to golf at the moment. We, me and him have only been playing for about three years or so um, You know, we've played in a couple of golf days and that type of stuff uh, But nothing like club champs or tournament type of golf. So yeah, the CUSA stay tuned guys uh, Yeah, hopefully we can bring you some good golf Okay, so he just pushed his drive a little bit out to the right, uh, just getting over the dam over there. So his second shot into the green, probably just over 200 meters, but pretty much open to the green there in the distance. Not a bad first tee shot for the day. Okay guys, so this is Pierre's second shot, probably looking just outside 200 meters, I see he's got his three iron, um, his lie on the rough is pretty good. Okay guys, on for three, has a decent birdie putt. Okay, so Pierre's looking at a birdie putt, just straight up the hill. Doesn't look like it has too much break in it. Oh, just leaving it. Literally like two rolls short, but that will be a nice tap and par for the first hole. Hole number two, 341 meters, par four. Little dog leg through the fairway. hammered that straight down the dog leg what a drive okay guys so Pierre absolutely bombed his drive he's probably looking at about 50 meters in the green and the pin is just here on the left hand side he's definitely in prime position he's just got to clear this bunker here in front Just caught that one a little bit thin, rolled through onto the green over there. Not ideal, but he can maybe look at getting an easing up and down for par. Well, oh, just missing it. That's unfortunate, just 
pushing that way out and he did it again hey yeah. bro <laughs> okay hole number three guys it's a par five big dog leg to the right um i can almost guarantee you pierre's gonna look to cut the dog leg drive just landing in the dog leg clearing all the trees he's got about to about 200 meters in you can see the flag flag is just situated over there it's actually situated on the front of the green today so he doesn't need to worry too much about necessarily getting it there all the way because it's playing a bit shorter today So I punched it out, just pushing it a bit left. But I could see his backswing, unfortunately, was just hindered. There was just that branch sticking out there. So I could see his backswing wasn't that great yet. It's sort of like half, half manufacturer shot there. But um, it's not bad. Missing left side of the fairway. Yeah, he's going to look for uh, a nice little wedge in. Still give himself a birdie look. Okay, so this is what Pierre has for his third shot. Just missing landing in the rough there on the left hand side. Pin is situated front of the green. He's got a nice backstop because it's pretty much a two tier green, so he can try and attack this pin. It's only 50 meters in, so hopefully he can stick one nice and close. Just landed a bit short, but I'd say it's about two meters off the green. He could probably just putt that, uh, probably just get a, an easy par here on this hole. No, oh, get in, get in. Oh, almost dropped it in for his birdie. Just tapping that in for par, very nice. Okay guys, onto hole number four. It's the first drivable par four, only 275 meters. Playing into the wind today, so it'll take a good drive to get there. He's taking it straight over the trees there on the right hand side. Should just be on the right hand side of the green. Um, could be a bit of a tricky shot because he'll be hitting with the wind. Okay, so my brother probably 25 meters short of the green. Um, fortunately, the pin is right at the back of the green today, so you know, better opportunities to try and see if we can get it there. just ended up fatting his chip shot okay so pistol at least has a birdie putt but it is quite a long one probably say it's about 30 to 35 feet So it's just looking. Pierre just left with a three footer uh, to secure his paw. Um, shouldn't be too difficult, I think. Firm and straight is probably the play.
think his nerves are getting the best of him today. This is the first club champs that he's played in, so... Okay guys, on to the first pass, 137 meters playing slightly uphill. Pin sort of back left today. Looking for his draw to hold up the wind. He's just landed on the right side of the green there. Okay, so Pierre just landed short and a little bit on the right hand side. He loves a 60 degree from the edge of the green. Let's see if he can maybe chip this one in. Just leaving it a bit out on the right hand side but I don't blame him because the entire green slopes that way so it's actually pretty interesting that the ball actually didn't get closer to the hole. Okay so this is what Pierre has left for par. Um, yeah it's just going to be a difficult putt. The entire green slopes off down to the left hand side over there. Um, yeah. I know it's quite difficult to see the slopes on camera, but this one definitely looks like it's breaking quite a bit. Oh, he didn't hit it. Just didn't hit it. I think he had the right line. He just needed the pace. He's definitely lacking with this putter a bit today in this round. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully he'll be able to figure it out along the way. Okay guys, so we're on to hole number six, the next drivable par four. You can see there's like a water channel that runs through the fairway. I'm standing in the fairway and they, all the way up there, should I say my brother is all the way up there on the tee box. Um, it's gonna be an interesting hole. It is drivable, it's playing a bit back into the wind today, so this water channel behind me, yeah, I'm just going to have to hit a very decent drive. Okay guys, so, uh, didn't see the ball, but I heard it land. He's missed on the left hand side, over here. Um, so he's gonna have a decent shot into the green as i said um, missing on the left hand side is the play so this is what pierre's looking at for a second shot bit of a tricky lie but nothing too difficult um, as i said he just missed here on the left hand side of the fairway just over there It's only got, I'd say, about 70 meters left. Oh, there we go, straight down the pin, landing on the green, rolling out. Okay, so Pierre's got this birdie putt straight back up the hill. It's quite a big ridge in front of him. It plays as a two-tier green. I've got it going slightly to his right-hand side, so he's probably just owning maybe half a cup or a cup on the left. Looking good, just leaving it a bit short. Okay, so Pierre just looking to tap in for his par. The two footer doesn't need to overthink this one. 
<laughs> Gosh, just assisting him quickly with the flag. Yeah, very nice, no doubt. Okay guys, so we're on second pass three. I'm standing here up on the green. You can see the flag over here. My brother on the tee box down there. The whole plays 157 meters, but it's quite uphill. So I think it adjusts to about 165. Brother coming up. Yo. <laughs> I didn't even see that. <laughs> but he's landed right over here. Really nice. Yo. Okay, so my brother going a little bit big off the tee. Um, this entire green just slopes straight down towards me. So he's got a very interesting chip shot. Um, could very easily just roll through and end up back at the front, at the front edge. So he's opted to chip this. I think trying to get a bit of spin on the ball might just help him slow it down a bit. Now, let's see. Let's see what he can do. Got it rolling nicely. Oh, great weight. Just going a little bit to the right hand side. Interestingly enough, that ball actually rolled really straight. I actually also saw it going a bit left, so I probably would also ended up just missing it on the right hand side. A tricky putt left. Probably about six feet. I think this thing is going hard to the right hand side. Oh, just missing it low. Look at that ball go. Check it that. Shucks, yeah. That is unfortunate. They've put this pin placement at a very, very difficult spot today because Unless you're leaving yourself with an uphill putt. Um, yeah. yeah. Very nice. Puts it in for his bogey. Okay guys, hole number eight. Hardest hole on the course. Par four. Playing 389. Straight up the hill. Absolutely cracked that one. It's going to be straight down the middle in between the two trees. Very nice. Yeah, found the middle of the fairway. Great drive. He's probably looking at about 135 meters in. Um, slightly wind assisted, so pin is at the back. So he's just going to take a very, very easy nine. Swing easy. Very nice drawing it into the hole. He should be on the green. Okay, so Piers no, no, I just went a little bit big. Landed pin high, but just rolled through. He's got a little chip shot. Ah, not too bad, looking at a, a little tap in there. Oh, no ways. Onto the ninth hole. Um, also quite a long par for playing roughly about 390 meters. Fortunately the wind is behind them today, so. Ok 
Okay, so we found Pierce Ball just here on the right hand rough. Didn't hit a great tee shot. Uh, I actually didn't even see it off the club. Nonetheless, he's probably got probably about 160, 170 meters still in. Just avoiding the water on the right hand side. Landing just there on the left of the fairway. It's a good miss. Um, there's water there on the right hand side guys and yeah, the last thing you want to do is end up in that water. Okay, so Pierce shot just ending up here on the cart path. Just taking relief. Looking to get it up and down to the flag. Just on the right hand side there. Just hitting the false front of the green. Not getting on. Oh, what a shot. Chipping it in for his par. Great par save on the last hole. Should I say on the ninth hole. Brilliant. Okay, guys, so in the car park uh, at the end of the video, uh, just filming the front nine, the first nine of my brother, not able to get the back nine in as well. Um, yeah, guys, I think he was a little bit nervous. Having not a bad back nine, but I've definitely seen him play a lot better. Um, his putting game, just, uh, yeah, just he didn't bring a whiff today, you know. Um, really, really, he, I reckon there's probably at least two or three putts that he left out there. Uh, but anyways guys, thanks for watching. Um, like I mentioned in the video, this is like the first type of tournament golf he's played in. Even though it is just the local club champs here at Jeffrey's Bay. Um, yeah, it's the, the first type of contest. Hopefully, uh, you know, um, I'll also be able to play in some of the upcoming ones as well. And, you know, we'll get those videos up and running too. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching.